Hello there. Welcome to Spread Cheese Fabrications. Here we got Lloyd's lovely diner. Just gonna do some uh, little shotgun pipes on it. So, first things first, let's take these ones off. I'm just gonna do a little mount right here. Pipe's gonna come out. Pew, bang, bang. Phew. So we're gonna dive into the old secret stash of Staino. I get these Ben's custom bent for me. Um, we've got a couple of donuts. When I'm doing custom pipes, I always like to start at the head. Now, the standard exhaust has these type of flanges on it. If you don't already know, it runs this spring and then it gets clamped in there. So what I do is I make these little stainless ends. I've just got like a little swaging setup that I run it through there. And then I'll stick them on the lathe and just clean it up. And it works the same way. Here's one I've got bolted up in there. So, really nice and solid. I'm just gonna do a, a tight little kind of S there. So this is a little 3D printed kit that I've got off some company in New Zealand. I can't remember who, what their name was now but it just helps you get the bends and visualize what kind of design you want to do. Get your gloves on and you get ticking. So we've got the rear one tacked up there. That's more the flavor of what Lloyd wants. The front one, we're gonna bring just over the top like that with little turnouts just before the shock. So yeah, I'll start tacking up that one now. All right, on to this front one. So I've got this big long daddy here, but I need to do the section. Fucking police chopper. I'm just gonna tack this little front section on and um, then we'll bolt her up and see how she's lo looking. Piece here. Right, 
Okay, so that's where we're at. I've just got that front one tacked up there. I feel like that's exactly what you're chasing. That looks sweet. finish welded up now I've changed it over to the Fupa cup BBW We've got the 316 LSI filler there we all know they love to vibrate so I'm not going to rely on just a fused weld for these ones so we're going to use filler all the way Uh, cleaning up the pipes just with a little uh, tube polisher with a scotch bright belt just to brush all the color of the welds off and uh, make it look all uniform make it look crisp what do you guys think I reckon that looks fucking sick as Well, I guess first things first, we should check out how they sound. Putting some marks on the pipe. Just gonna pull the pipes off and then um, slash cut them, and I may as well do the mount as well. Just gonna use some stainless flat bar to make the uh, mount which goes off the gearbox. Uh, the reason you need to mount off there is because the whole engine is rubber mounted and if you mount off the frame the pipes are gonna crack so Just doing the old uh, cutout with the old angle grinder smoothing it up a bit and then we'll drill some mounting holes and get that all mounted up Look at that, good little fit. Two bolts for exhaust mounts, three bolts into the tranny, add a bit of cheese. Got to add a little bit of offset just to kick the bracket out off the bike.
It's time for tacking the mounts on. I like to put a little reinforcement strap on the mount so it attaches to the pipe in two places. And if you know Harleys, you know they vibrate like motherfuckers. Time to bolt her up and get ready for Lloyd's Grand Unveil, eh? <laughs> Bar it up, Lloyd. Ha 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 ha! 